Hi, today I'm going to do a tutorial just showing you how to change your margin settings, go into page layout and set your header and your footer and a few other simple settings that you may want to customize in Word for a document. I'm just going to use the control N key and that will give me a new document. Now Word has some custom settings and sometimes I don't want to use the settings that are custom. So that's where this tutorial will come in handy. Also what I want to do is I want to have my document run so that it is landscape. And I'll just show you what that means. I'm going to use the Alt key and I'm going to be going into page layout. You'll notice that there are letters that pop up. If I'm, I don't like using the mouse, I like using the keyboard and it goes a lot faster when you're typing and not explaining. So if this seems slow in this tutorial, it's only because I'm explaining what's going on. So if you use a mouse, you're going to want to click into page layout. Now, underneath each one of those letters, you'll see tabs. We have file, home, insert, page layout, references, mailings, review, view, and developer. And under each one of those tabs, there are various options that you can utilize within your document. I also have a custom toolbar, which is down here. And I'm just going to go out of here for a second. Normally what where this is, is it's up at the top. And I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm just going to click show above ribbon and you'll see that that has moved up to here. And it's a custom access toolbar and I've placed these icons on the toolbar. So I'm just going to get it to go below. The reason I like it below is because I like it to be close to my document. And what I do is I put the functions that I use more often than not here so that I don't have to keep going into these different tabs to get a choice for a function in within my document. So I'm not going to show that today or use those today because I'm showing you how to set up, change the settings that are custom in a document. So I'm going to be using the long way today. It is a lot faster to use my custom access toolbar, but today I won't use it just so that I can show you how to create custom formatting within your document. So we'll go back to that alt key. I'm going to go under page layout, which is P and then I'm going to be going into page setup. So I just want to point that under out that under page layout, we have themes with functions within themes, page setup with functions, page background, paragraph and arrange. So that's how the ribbon works. This is called the ribbon up here. So I'm going to be going into page setup. And if you look right over here, I can press the letters SP to get more functions. So SP, and that brings up the page setup dialog box. Now to move within the page, the page setup dialog box, you use your control tab key. So here's the margins, here's paper, here's layout. We'll go back to margins. Now you'll see that, that each option has an underlined letter under it. If you look at top, it has a, a T underline. So that would be the letter that you would use with your alt key on all of the settings. So I'm just going to do an alt T and set that at, at 0.5. And then I'm going to just use my tab key because that will take me to the next available setting. And if it's the one that I'm going to use next, I might as well just use my tab key instead of using the alt key and the underlined letter. Now to change my orientation, I'm going to change it from portrait. You'll see that it is highlighted in blue here as portrait and I'm going to change it to landscape. And then what I need to do is I need to go into the layout and I need to change the header and the footer because if you look at the header, it's set at 0.5. So that would be a contra uh, diction for my margins to be at 0.5 and my header. It just wouldn't work. So we need to set those at 0.3. And that's a problem like it's that, that many people have within their documents. They don't realize that they've customized their margins and they're in conflict with their header and their footer. So you don't want your text on top of your header or vice versa. 
So we're just going to go back to margins here. I'm just going to make sure that I have everything set that I wanted to change. And then I also want to show you in paper, this is where you would change the size of your paper. I do want eight and a half by 11. And of course, layout we were in, I don't want to do anything different with that. So I'm just going to press the return key or click with the mouse on OK. And now you'll see that up here we have a view of our page and I'm on page width as well. If you go into the view tab, you'll see here that you can change your view so that it's two pages, one page, 100% zoom or page width. I like page width personally. It just gives me a bigger view of what my screen is of my document. So that's why I like to use that. So also what I'm going to show you is headers. And usually I do not like to have a header within my document on the first page, but this document is going to end up being a second page to another document that is not a table and is not going to be in landscape. And I could set breaks if I had a document, but in this particular case, the first document is from a platform online that I'm going to be adding my own custom page to, to. and that won't make sense for this tutorial and doesn't matter, but maybe that's your situation. Maybe you're using a document from another platform and you want to add your own page too. So what I'm going to do is I know that headers and footers are under insert. So I use that alt key again and under insert, the letter N is there. And then if you look under header and footer on the ribbon, it has H under it. I'm just gonna point that out to you where it is. So we press H and then under at the very bottom, you'll see edit header and there's an E. I'm going to press that editor, edit. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a center, which is control E and I'm going to say page and then I'm going to want the document to automatically number my pages. Never do that manually. It's a pain when you have to make additions when you add new pages. So you do want to set your headers properly. So I'm going to use that alt key again and you'll see up up at the top now we have a header footer tools that was not there prior to going into the header and I'm going to want to type JH to get into that and then I'm going to press NU for number which is on the very left hand side and we get the drop down box for page number and then it asks you well where do you want your page number to be I want it to be at the current position. So I'm going to type C for a current position. And then it brings down a box asking you what kind of number do you want to use? Well, I just want to use a plain number and that's what it's on. So I just press the enter key. Now, if I wanted any of the other ones, I could use the down arrow key and pick the kind of number that I wanted. And I can also go into office.com and find more options by using the M key. So just play around sometime. And you format page number, that's where it is. And what you want to do is you want to pick the start at and page numbering down at the bottom. You'll see page numbering and right now it says continue from previous section. That's right here. So I want to get into the start at and the underlined letter is A. So I will use the alt A and I'll say start at two. And you can ask it to start at whatever page you want to. You can also change your format to be other numbers as well. That's another spot where you can do it just the same as what we were doing in the other drop down box. And that's one thing about Word. There's several ways to uh, do any function. So you just got to mess around. I'm going to press the return key and now you'll see that our page number is going to start at two. And then I'm going to close out of the header and footer. And now we have our document. So I hope that helps you a little bit with some custom settings. If there's anything that you do want to know and you don't find a tutorial on my channel, then leave a question in the comments and I'll make you a tutorial. So have a great day and I hope that this helps someone. 
and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.